Well, I think the, the question is that uh, many occasions we speak about what we must do in the future, but we don't take account the historical transformations of the world, because this crisis uh, is showing that some kind of redistribution of income and wealth is being produced uh, all over the world. That is to say, emerging countries and uh, less developed countries are growing very quickly. Do you remember the public demonstrations uh, 10 years ago, 20 years ago in the streets and uh, in the squares of our cities? Now there are not these kind of demonstrations because the uh, emerging countries uh, have conquered through globalization, they have conquered one third, I was speaking with Mr. Hara before, and they have conquered one third of the global trade in the world. And the less developed countries are benefiting also very much because of the so-called South-South trade. That is to say, the emergent are helping, giving aid to the uh, less developed. So this is not, uh, this is the optimistic phase of the, of the crisis. And this optimistic, optimistic phase of the crisis refers to some six uh, billion persons. And those who are in the West position in this moment, and especially Europe, and some countries inside Europe, we are less than 1,000, 1 billion persons. We must take account of this also. And I think it is a very important question to study the crisis as a big transformation of the previous economic patterns in the economic structure of the world.